Hi, my name is Mandy and I'm a respiratory therapist with the Springfield Clinic Pulmonary Department and I'm going to talk about oxygen therapy. Um, our doctors will order a test called an exercise oximeter and we will walk you up and down the halls with a pulse ox on your finger and we're going to watch your heart rate and your oxygen level. If your oxygen level decreases to a certain percentage, we will then place you on oxygen. Um, there's three ways that we can deliver the oxygen to you. The most common way is an oxygen tank. Um, the doctor will actually prescribe the amount that he wants for you. Room air contains 21% oxygen, but we can um, administer all the way up to 100%. So it just depends on the patient. Um, and this is an oxygen tank. This is an E-tank. They come smaller and larger. Um, this is the most common one you'll see. Um, and it goes all the way from one liter to eight liters. And that just depends on the doctor. Um, and this is just, you just turn this knob for your flow rate. And this is how the oxygen actually gets to you. It's a nasal cannula. And this just goes in your nose and over your ears. It's actually pretty comfortable. Um, and for at home, a home health care company will actually deliver the tanks on an as-needed basis. Um, and usually with these tanks, they're just for people that only need it with exercise or when they go out places, not really when they're resting. Um, the next oxygen um, we prescribe is liquid oxygen. And this is very handy. Um, when oxygen gets to a very cold temperature, it actually liquefies. Um, and with this, it's liquid and the oxygen then flows through some coils that warm it and as it warms it turns into a gas and that's how you breathe it in. And it's the same method, you just turn the dial and it will go up to the level that the doctor prescribes for you. Um, oxygen is considered a drug so don't alter it, um, let the doctor do that for you. Um, and also, besides the nasal cannula, you're actually you can get oxygen through a mask but it's pretty rare that they prescribe a mask all the time. Um, the last thing is an oxygen concentrator. And this is very common for when you're at home um, because it's um, powered by electricity and um, the oxygen, the room air, will go in through these um, filters and then it will actually suck the oxygen out of the air and then it will come in through the nasal cannula. Um, and again, it just flows through here. You just pull this dial up or down and it also goes with the nasal cannula. And they can actually, they have really long nasal cannulas, so when you're at home, you don't have to just be sitting in a chair. You can walk around with it. And they also make, which is new to me, um, portable oxygen concentrators that um, have a rechargeable battery, so you don't have to worry about your tank running out or your liquid oxygen running out. If you're out running around, um, you can just plug it into your cigarette lighter in your car or just recharge the battery and take it with you. Um, this is a very simple overview of oxygen. There's actually a lot more to it. Um, if you have any questions, please call 527-2864 and ask for respiratory therapists. Thank you.